In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can do some customization in a Power Apps app. In a, we will see how to create an app from the SharePoint list and then I will show you how we can do customization in the edit screen, in the detail screen as well as in the display screen as well. So we will use all the forms controls, we will see some kind of customization in all the forms or in all, or in all the screens as well. If you are new to Power Apps, then check out my previous videos. I'll put the link in the video description where I have explained how we can create apps from SharePoint or from an Excel in Power Apps in a very simple way. And if you are new to the channel, I am Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP from last 10 years. And total, I have more than 15 years experience and I worked on SharePoint Power Platform and all these things. So I'll take you to the screen and uh, we will go through the entire process. We'll see all these customizations in a Power Apps form. All right, here is my SharePoint site. You can see here, this is my SharePoint site. I have created a list as request an appointment. So in this list, there are a couple of columns on this. Let me just show you. First name, last name, email ID, mobile number, and there is a, a choice column as well, you can see. Uh, this is the choice column and then is a multi-line text field as well so this is the list i have so what i'll do now is i will create an app using power apps and then we will see the customization that we'll do so here i'll click on integrate you can see in the command bar then click on power apps and then here you can see create an app the moment you select this then it will uh, ask you to name this app so i'll say appointment request app something like this i'll give it will check if the name is not exist then it will allow you to create click on the create button then it will take some time and it will configure a app for us which will be a mobile layout app and let me tell you that will be a fully functional app so you don't need to without doing any customization also you can use that app that means you can do all the in-shot update delete operation you can uh, display all the items whatever they are in the SharePoint list as well so let it just so as I said it will create a mobile app you can see here if you want to change the app to uh, the other layout the tablet layout how we can do this is first of all you can click here go to the settings and then you can see the display and then you can change the orientation to landscape okay and then click on apply so once you apply you can see here this is now the app will look like you can click on okay now you can see here uh, you can see this is half whatever uh, selected the color the mobile layout it is coming the best way what you can do is let me just tell you that from this left side you can see all these screens you have browse uh, details and edit screen so in the browse screen if you will click on this browse gallery you can see here the gallery i can expand it till the last you can see here i have added same way the check box you can see here the search box here you can also expand that to the last right same way you can see here uh, the label or uh, uh, the search icon search icon is this one sorry the rectangle uh, this is the bar which is coming you can make it to straight like this same way if you see here there is a rectangle bar here you can expand this till that much your label is what you are seeing here request an appointment and then you can see there is an icon over here if i'll just try to drag it you can see there are actually multiple icons in that so what you can do is you can just press ctrl and select all three and you can move it if you want you can see here i move to the right side so now you can see our app is now in the proper layout in the at least in this page if you have the customization before doing that let me tell you how we can refresh the data source a lot of time what happened is if you will add one item into the sharepoint list probably you must be wondering how that item will appear here because by default you can see here there is now two items are there so what you can do is you can i'll just quickly add one item here let's say i will hurry s and then i'll say hurry and then you can provide a mobile number all these things you can provide i'll just click on save now you can see here three items are there and if you will preview it you can see you still have two items on this 
the best way how we can do is go to the data source you can see by default the data source is connected you can click on refresh and the item will be refreshed the new item which has been added into the list you can see here it is now here anything also if you have edited or you have deleted any item those things will be reflected here so that is the thing that uh, we can do it here now request an appointment you can see here uh, if you want to change anything then you can uh, uh, change in the label here in the text property you can see just select the label the best way you can do is uh, you can click over here you can you can select the control from the left side as well so for example here request i will say request for an appointment like this you can see here that has been changed now i'll show you uh, how we can do some changes into this uh, you know the gallery control as well as we will see how uh, we will do some kind of customization to the browse screen detail screen as well as the edit screen so first the browse screen from the left side you can you can select the control here uh, so in this case if you will see here the first one is the uh, name the title column and then the last name and the email id is coming you can see here first name last name and the email id these are the three things which are coming here now i want only the first name and the email address i don't want the last name so you can click over here first of all the layouts so in the layout layouts you can choose what kind of layout you can select so if there is some images you can also if you want to show the image you can choose that in this case i will choose title and subtitle i'll select this you can see here now by default it is the first name and the last name the email id is not there but what i want is i want the email id to be there so you can expand the browser control and here uh, you can see the title to subtitle so if you select the subtitle this is nothing but the last name you can see here title dot last name so what i want here is the email so i'll select the email here now you can see the first name and the email id is coming so um this is how we can uh, see if you want to change the column things you can do that next one i what i'll do is if you'll see here i want this to appear in two column layout so if you'll see here wrap count here if i'll make it to two then you can see now it is coming in two uh, two column layout you can you can say that is the thing that you can do on the, the wrap count and it will come to two layouts now let me go back to the detail screen so you can see here in the detail screen now uh, if you see there are this is how it is coming in the detail screen so that means when the user will select one item then they will come to this screen where they can see the details about this particular uh, item so on this what i'll do here is first thing is i will again you can expand it you can select the form let's say i select the details form here and on this if you'll see here there are one column layout is there you can make it to two two column layout and look at see what is happening on this so in this case if you see now there is title and uh, let's say the title you don't want this to be title so you can also change that so how we can change that is you can go to the advanced property you can first unlock this and then you can change this to for example first name right so you can now uh, put in the bracket right so you can see here now it is first name now next thing is if you'll see here it is coming first name and then down uh, it is coming the name and then same way the name and then next line it is coming like this so you can select the details form and go to the properties section and you can see here vertical layout you can make it to horizontal layout so you can see it is coming now side by side so in the side by side it will be easier to read it but if you look at here couple of columns here you can see purpose of visit but that is not coming here properly so what you can do here is you can go back here you can make the wrap property to on so what will happen user can see what is there in this column instead of it will come as uh, dot 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 like this so you can see this way you can uh, make uh, these changes here as well now let's go back to the audit screen and here we are going to change a couple of things on this so first thing is 
again if you'll see here i will select the edit form i'll just ex expand it i'll make like this and you can see the layout is coming like this same way if you want to make it to two column layout you can make it to two column layout and then if you'll see here there is one column which is the last one is the additional comments and that is not there here so what you can do is you can click on edit fields and you can click on add field and here you can select additional font now look at this so this additional comment is a multi-line text box so i'll click on add and then you can see here the control type so this is a single line of text you can see various things are there email phone number like this various other options are there you can see one option is edit multi-line text select it so what will what now it will happen is it will become a multi-line text box you can see it here you can see this if you want to expand it you can expand this as a complete page also so now if you run it you can see here this is how coming in to layout and then you have dummy comments because the comment that i have put it is as the dummy comment you can see it here uh, the last one let me just show you dummy comments it's not like if comment is not there it will show dummy comments if it's not there it will be empty only now you can see here the last column the additional comment which is a multi-line text box it is coming in to layout as well two column layout so so that it will look good on this way so uh, these are few customization that we saw in this uh, particular video there will be upcoming videos i don't want to make it little bigger i gave you an idea on this next we will see particularly how we can do some customizations on the controls as well after all this customization you can save the form and you can publish the form so that you can share the power apps so that other people can use it i hope you like the video and if you want similar kind of videos on sharepoint power platform spfx all these things then subscribe to our youtube channel also you can comment in our videos what is the next video that you want to see so that i can plan and i can make that video tutorial for you thank you and have a nice day